Hey people, welcome back to Walk Drop. Once again. So, uh, like I said in the last video uh, that I put out, um, we're going to be focusing on really short and simple and quick recipes for the next like three or four recipes that um, we put out on Wok Drop. So today, the recipe we're going to be focused on is called Jia Chang Ruo Mo Qin Zai. Well, the name of this is like send the rice down. So this dish is supposed to accompany rice, so it's supposed to be on top of rice. Um, and it deals with, um, with the Do Ban Jiang, um, so the Sichuan pickle chili paste. Uh, also with ginger, with celery, and with beef, so it sort of combines to create like a strong flavor um, that really goes really, really well on top of rice. Uh, and it's easy to make, uh, and it tastes delicious, and it's not expensive. So let's get into it. So what we've got here is we've got cooking wine, we've got Chinese black vinegar, hazel, we've got soy sauce, okay? Uh, and we've got a little bit, of, a little bit of stock, uh, beef mince, ginger, fermented uh, chili bean paste, so do ban jiang, and we've got here shangsai, which is uh, coriander, okay, and also celery. And this is around about 300 grams of beef mince. Um, don't get beef and pork mince mixed. Like, make sure you get like 100% beef mince. This is like a pure beef dish. Um, yeah, so that's the basic ingredients. If for some chance it does taste too spicy, and you're like, whoa, it's too spicy, like the, 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 the spice flavor is too loud, you can add a little bit of sugar to bring that down. Uh, one thing I want to mention, um, usually, like traditionally, after we've diced the celery, you're gonna mix it with a little bit of salt, and the salt will take the, the water out. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that method. That's actually the traditional method, but I actually, for this, particular dish and enjoy it better without adding the salt and without draining it water. I like the sort of like crispness that that sort of fresh celery has um, when I make this dish like this. So um, you know, I know traditionalists will add salt and, and, and let the water drain a little bit, but um, for this particular dish, I don't do that. Okay. So we're gonna cut one, two, round about like this. Take a little edge off and we're going to cut these into strips and from the strips we're going to cut it into cubes like this okay So it basically looks like this, okay? Okay, so next we're gonna dice our ginger. So for this dish, you wanna cut the skin off. So. and put it together and you want to cut it in so it's not a hundred percent fine diced but it's pretty fine diced yeah so i mean where you've got little cubes like this because you want to liquefy liquefy when it hits the oil later on so little cubes like this yeah and for this dish the fresher the ginger the better, as fresh as you can get the ginger, the better. You really want that ginger flavor coming through in this dish. Okay, so before you want to start cooking, uh, make sure you've got everything ready to go because this dish is cooked kind of quickly. So you've got your celery, you've got your beef, you've got your ginger, you've got your fermented chili bean paste, you've got a little bit of stock, you've got your um, coriander, soya sauce, the black vinegar, and the cooking wine. Okay, so warm and each it's all bar. Let's cook. So we're gonna put like mm, got 300, so maybe maybe like two tablespoons of oil. We're gonna put in there. Uh, get it up to a high heat. Okay. 
you want to get this hot. Okay, so you're not like a medium heat, you want to get it as hot as you can. Notice as well, like as usual, we've always got our, our base stock here, here. We've always got our base stock here, which we use for everything. We're going to be using a little bit of that. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we're going to start off with the beef. Okay, so the beef goes in first. Okay, so we're going to put our beef in. Use your ladle to press the beef up. Now, I think I said when I was making the marble dolphin video, I said if it starts to dry, and it's too dry, you want to add a little bit more oil. Yeah, so this is okay. Not too bad because you're going to get natural oil from the beef coming out anyway. Um, so, yeah, I think we're right here. Not boiled, so it's dry. Okay, like this. And just cook it until the beef is basically pretty, you know, sort of medium rare cooked. And then you want to make a moat like I'm making here in the middle. So you're going to push the beef out to the side and see how the oil is seeping into the middle. Okay. And when the oil seeps into the middle like that, you want to take your ginger. Okay, put your ginger in. Right. Let that sit for a tiny bit. Let that ginger sit there. Let it melt a little bit. Okay. Then you want to take your shaving paste. Put your shaving paste there. Okay. And then mix it a little bit. So you sort of make a paste with it. See how I'm kind of making a paste here? And then mix it together. Like this, sort of mix together. And let it, just let it cook like that for a little while. Let that flavor cook in. Let the beef cook. And you can spread it out like this to see how we're spreading it out. And then you're getting this kind of like flat, like almost like a pancake, like flat oil. You don't want the beef to be too soft. You want to get it not as not as not as cooked as the marble dolphin beef, but you know, you want to get it like getting closer to that. Okay, so once once you start seeing that, that oil popping up on top like this, and it's kind of like a red liquefied oil, and you can't really see the ginger that much anymore. Okay. When it's there, see things go a little bit dry. Then we're going to add our celery. And to break the celery a little bit, you can add a touch of stock. And then we're going to go cooking wine. Touch your white pepper. Touch your soy sauce. So yeah, it's like a teaspoon dry. And then here, this is what I was talking about with the sugar. You can give it a taste. A little bit. Just add a touch of sugar. Okay, and then, so now we're getting, we're almost done, so we're almost done. Is we're going to turn the heat off. We're going to turn the heat off. This is when we add our black vinegar. About a teaspoon of black vinegar. We're going to pop it in. Mix it through. Thank you. 
like this. And then we're gonna take some of our, our coriander, garnish it. And there you go. There we have it. Jia Chang Go Mo Chin Sai. Here you go. All right, send the rice down, bro. Looks good. There you go. Just send that, send the rice down. Send the rice down. Tastes good? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so that's uh, Jia Chang Rou Mo Qin Sai. Um, so yeah, give it a try. Uh, try making it. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments down below uh, how you found the dish, if you liked it, if, if not, if you had any problems with it, if you got any questions for me, uh, please leave it in the comment and I will get back to you. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, the next video will, will be coming soon and it will be another short, quick, easy recipe that tastes great. So catch you next time on Walk Drop. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks again for the support. And uh, we'll see you soon.